Boys, check out the barn. What's up guys? So really, I just want to give you a quick rundown of the barn. This place was nothing but storage, tractor, tools, rakes, shovels, weight set at some point ping pong table and i turned it into the ultimate man cave come out here crack cold ones watch games make venison fish squirrel dove wings out here um just a place to get away so i'm gonna give you the quick rundown of it what i did to this place it was a ton of work guys uh, i did it in about two months kind of guessed uh, made it up as I went so check it out first thing I did guys was put the wood stove in I found this wood stove on offer up it was rusted old looking but I knew I could fix it up so spent a couple hours getting the rust off of it cleaning it up and then painting it uh, put some concrete board around it um, that's one of the projects that I still have to do. I'm gonna put some stone eventually behind it on the flooring, but for now it works. Ran some pipe up, drilled a massive hole through my wall, which was sketchy. I was hoping I did it right, and it all worked out. Ran the pipe through the wall, and then the chimney went up. Uh, this thing kept me warm all winter. I didn't think I was gonna be building any more fires. It is March but it is a cold night tonight so start the fire up and we'll just start on this wall so guys i took apart my first 10 pallet boards or pallets with a hammer and i probably broke about 75 percent of those boards with a hammer it was impossible i was like there's no way i'm gonna get this done so I got a reciprocating saw and it made the job way easier. I was able to save the old nails from the boards, which looks awesome. And uh, yeah, it made the project way faster. So anyways, I started doing this backsplash of the wood stove and then I loved the look of it. So I just continued on. And I know I did more than 60 pallets. I'm thinking it was closer to 70 to do this entire bottom floor. I put R19 insulation behind the entire wall. So it definitely keeps the heat in and yeah, it worked out. Guys, I screwed every single one of these pallet boards in the wall. Drilled a hole and then screwed it in. So if I ever have to take them off, replace them, etc it'll be easy to replace. And as you can see, I was able to keep the old nails because that tool was able to cut right through the nails. But anyways, guys, so yeah, this is where it started. Did this backsplash, love the look, continued it on. The staircase, underneath the stairs was just more storage. Paints, spray paints, old shingles, things like that. Uh, cleared that out and I found old barn wood in the woods, actually. Built these boxes just to hold my firewood. So in the winter time, guys, this holds three to four stacks of wood, which lasts me a good while. And then this little box I made next to it holds all my kindling and it goes just as far back. So guys, I took an old cedar tree that I found Cut all the branches off, let it dry out, and then um, took the, a chainsaw to the back end of it, cut a 90 degree angle out of it, so it fit up against that post, and now it looks like a support beam. This is an old elk antler that my uh, coworker gave me. Couldn't find a place in this barn to put it, so actually attached it to this wall and that staircase. It wraps perfectly around this, doesn't take up any room. Can hang old hunting clothes on there, hats, things to dry out if I need to. It works out well. This sign of Lake Anna, one of my boys made me. 
I just took a torch to it, put some poly on it. We fished some tournaments on Lake Anna, so that thing's sweet. Took the same barn wood that I found in the woods and uh, made this mantle, guys, over top of my wood stove. We got an old meat grinder up there, some more antlers. This is an old piece of driftwood I found in the river. And then these are my grandpa's old lures. Not sure how old those are, but they're old. This is a little tackle box he used to use that would hook on his hip. Thing, definitely this thing is old. Not sure how old, but that thing is sweet. So, working along the wall. Guys, I installed these cabinets. Had no idea what I was doing, but it worked out. As long as you're happy with the work, that's all that matters. Installed these cabinets, put this countertop on, and it gave me some room. Put some food, fishing, fishing stuff, things like that. Underneath of there. Now this TV in. My first ever floating mantle I've ever done. This is an old railroad tie, and we've actually had this railroad tie for since I was a kid. Cut it down into a little piece, sanded it down, and made a little floating mantle. Turned out really nice. This is my first ever Euro mount. I just did this in the fall. Killed this buck with a muzzle loader. And I have not bleached it yet, but I'm very happy with the work. I didn't break any bones. Turned out looking really nice, guys. On this side, killed this buck in 2015. I paid for this one. This was before I tried to ever do a Euro mount. Yeah, that bad boy is nice. Put in this deep laundry sink, guys, so I can clean my deer meat, my fish, things like that. Um, the One of the last main projects I have to do is hook up the uh, water line. Put this oven in. There's been many wings cooking that. A lot of venison cooked on that. Dove, squirrel. This is an old spice rack my dad had when I was a kid, hanging in our garage. I found it, cleaned it up, put it on the wall. Uh, because I don't have much room, guys, I hang my pots and pans, cast iron skillets on the ceiling. And these racks are really made for shovels, rakes, things like that in the garage. Found it, put it up there, works perfectly. That is my first turkey ever. Put a little microwave up here and then big old freeze, guys. The freezer is used for one thing and one thing only pretty much. And that is wild game. Venison. I'll have some fish in there this summer. And you know, the occasional hot pocket. Late night snack. Another cedar post in the corner. And then this fridge is normally, you know, full of the cold ones, but it's getting a little low now. The doors was what I ended with. Took some more pallet boards, insulated it, put a little cast iron lock from the inside. That saw is my grandfather's two-man saw. Not sure how old that thing is, but it's old. Same thing with this rod. That is an old school rod and reel hanging underneath of the saw. Another cedar post in this corner. Helps it to look very log cabiny. And then a dartboard. Lots of dart games played out here. And then all my bucks, guys, over the years. This is the best way I could come up with having them out. So, have this one wire hanging across, and these are my dad's old bucks actually on the wire, but the ones against the wall are my bucks. So, that's my first buck ever. Killed it with a bow. Um, I do not have the other spikes hanging, but after that spike, any decent buck I've killed since then is up on the wall. And if it has a broadhead in front of it, I killed it with that broadhead. That's an old muzzy. And that's a swacker and a swacker. 
killed this big boy in 2014. And that was the biggest buck of my life, guys. Love that thing. This year I killed another stud. Looks similar to that, but has a little more mass. It will go on this wall and I have it turning, facing this buck. It's gonna be sweet. The ceiling, guys, I left, I did not insulate the ceiling because I want this heat to be able to rise, get up to the second floor. And honestly, it adds storage. So I put, I have two 22s up there, an old pellet gun. I can get to it very quick if I need to, run outside, pop a groundhog that's trying to dig underneath the barn, squirrels, whatever. And then I put these across the ceiling and it holds a ton of rods. I mean, a majority of my rods are in my boat right now, but it just holds some extra rods and reels up there for me. But yeah, guys, man, this is the place to chill. This tabletop I made out of two by fours that were in between pallets. Any nice two by four I kept. Built this tabletop on top of this coffee table. Burned it, stained it, made it look legit. Polyed it. Love it. One more thing I added to this place, guys, was some more lights because in the daytime, it's not very bright. So I turned all these light bulbs upside down facing the ceiling, which gives, I think it gives it more of a, a, a like a cabiny look. And before the, the light bulbs were hanging down, kind of blinding you. So at nighttime, it's good. I have my two lamps, but in the daytime, it's not very bright especially when you're trying to cook, cut up deer meat, fish, things like that. So I added these lights above the TV for my cooking space. And honestly, when you're over here on the couch and you're watching TV, they don't get in the way at all. 